Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Snapshots. We are kicking off the action today with uh, a Chaffee game played on Himmelsdorf. I haven't played the Chaffee very much since uh, playing the T-71. I think the T-71 has become a, a, my more favorite American scout, but uh, I do love the Chaffee, and um, I have started playing it mainly off stream. Uh, but I'm going to be bringing you a couple of Chaffee games in the future. But anyway, let's get back to snapshots. Basically, what's happened here is our AMX 50B uh, was being really, really aggressive. He advanced, and he's almost dead. He's on 100 hit points, and he's facing down a Jagdpanzer E100 and an E100 and RT. T92 around the corner and he's been pinging the map. He's been asking for help. Now, I figure I'm in a nice little light tank. I can go distract these guys while the AMX 50B reloads. So I'm going to roll up here. Those guys were focused on the uh, AMX, but unfortunately the E100 spotted me. Yes! <laughs> E100. <laughs> Fired an AP shell, point blank range. No damage, just took out my tracks. And I'm thinking, awesome, I am going to circle this guy to death. This is what every Chaffee driver dreams of. Unfortunately, not only was that an amazing miss by the E100, he's probably cursing himself. Um, yeah, I repair my tracks. And get derped by the T-92. Oh, if only I could have lived. If the T-92 had missed, I reckoned I could have car caused some carnage, given the 50B time to reload and just run <laughs> rings around that E-100 while shooting the T-92. But uh, it wasn't to be. But even so, a uh, shot from an E-100 at point-blank range that does nothing more than track damage. I love the Chaffee. Moving on, we have a severe case of overkill. I am here on Sand River in my M41. I am aiming at this KV-1S, but uh, if you're looking at the mini-map, you'll see that the map is being pinged because an enemy leopard has somehow managed to sneak through all our lines and has managed to pop up right beside me. So uh, I'm about to notice him. Anytime now. Put it on normal speed. Oh, there we go. He's only got 22 hit points. But I've got a shell loaded. I've got to aim, 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 aim. Oh yeah. So only 22 hit points hit him point blank range and even managed to ammo rack him. Is there anything more satisfying than ammo racking tanks with shotgun shots from Arty? Uh, well, yeah. Because in my very next game, I was playing the ST1 on ENSC, there's only one tank left, it's Arty, he's in this corner somewhere. And we'll turn the corner, and ammo racking Arty at point blank range. That's more satisfying. So satisfying, we're going to have to look at this in super slow motion. Oh, point blank range, I aim, I fire, and his turret is gone. Oh yeah. And it seems that Arty really, really likes dying. Um, while I was gathering footage for my Chinakai review, and actually quite a lot of today's snapshots are going to be while I was in a Chinakai, um, I got clicked on. I died rather uh, early. I was having a good game in town and then uh, got clicked by Arty, but our team went on to dominate, and I just happened to be watching this ELC in free cam mode. And he's actually been doing a really, really good job. He uh, relocated, he was dealing with tanks that had flanked us through the valley here on Lakeville, and uh, I was just happening to keep one eye on the screen while I was watching him play. And uh, let's slow this down. So only one enemy tank left. Of course, it's enemy arty. And completely out of nowhere, enemy arty appears. And he is in such a hurry to die. He doesn't even have the courtesy to drown himself. He just goes straight for the water. And crashes to death. 
But of course, I was watching this in full speed, in normal speed, so uh, this is what it looks like in normal speed. I was, was not expecting this. I was expecting these guys to come around the corner. And uh, whoa, that guy appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. And while on the subject of RT, I uh, haven't included an asset on the channel in quite some time, but we've got an asset here in the Churchill, a guy called Rotiv. Uh, there's a Chiha who is uh, working the corner ahead of Rotiv, and I've just put a big shot into Rotiv, but this Chiha is just sitting here, minding his own business. He's doing what he can, and look at the asshat in the Churchill. Look at Rotiv. Just pushes him out into enemy fire. How big an asset is this guy? Really? Absolute douchebag, dude. Moving on, let's have a fail. I am again here in my Chinakai, and I am focused on this T25 down in the village. I've taken a shot. I'm trying to blow away his cover. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just what happened? Holy crap. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Valco72, so sorry. Um... He reversed in front of me. I said sorry. He's uh, going uh, period, period, period. And I stopped to tell him you reversed in front of me. And uh, thankfully he uh, accepted that and said, hey, it happens. Don't worry about it. So that was quite nice. But whoa, that came out of nowhere. So to add insult to injury, not only did I TK him, but I managed to ammo rack him. Yeah. Still sorry, Valco72. Moving on from one of my fails to uh, a fail of someone else's. I am again in my Chinakai gathering footage, but this time I've got company. I'm with CJC and Bringy. We are platooned together. And uh, let's just get going because... Um, yeah. Uh, this game was going quite normally. Uh, we'll speed it up, actually. Bringy's coming over to this flank with me. Uh, he's in his T-49. I'm in the Chinakai, and CJC's heading over to the other flank in his KV-1. And... yep. Yeah. So, uh, all looking good. No problems so far. So I've popped up. Gonna let my Binox kick in. Just checking to see if I have any shots. T-34. Very good player on the enemy team. Managed to get one shot in. And I don't have six cents, so I'm being rather careful here. So we're just continuing to work on this flank, and I was almost going to use some of this footage, and there's a KV-1, so let's slow it back down. So there's a KV-1 above me, I was almost going to be using this footage for the review. Um, and in chat, CJC saying, I'm stuck, sorry. Um, but I don't think anything of this. I'm too busy. I'm focused on this KV-1. And we take out the KV-1 because the Chinakai does have a great gun. Even though I don't like the tank, you have to admire its gun. And in the other side, what's that? I've destroyed the KV-1, but ally CJC KV-1 drowned. What? So, I guess I'm going to have to use uh, free cam mode for this one. Uh, there's CJC, so we'll play it on times two. It is CJC, yep, it is. Alright, we're just going to be following CJC just to see exactly what happened. Alright, nothing special so far. No pressure. And unfortunately, they are out of radar range. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, they are out of radar range. So I can't actually see CJC, but he is for some reason right here. You can see him on the minimap. I just wish the uh, Chinookai had a better radio so I could actually see this. But, uh, yeah, um... Don't see any enemy tanks around under absolutely no pressure and for some reason CJC chooses to uh, die in this particular spot. There he goes, I'm stuck and CJC drowns. Um, okay, I don't know what happened CJC but uh, yeah. 
I'd sure love to see that replay if you weren't too embarrassed. But it wouldn't be fair to uh, embarrass CJC. So uh, here he is in his SU-14-1. And uh, he's been playing on Siegfried line. Gets a nice kill on that WZ-111 as he drives around the corner. But there are only two enemy tanks left. Now, Artie was last spotted. Enemy Artie was last spotted behind the bunker in A6. And that was three minutes ago. So, is there a chance that he's still there? I mean, a whole three minutes have passed, his team have collapsed, but is Artie still sitting exactly where he was last spotted? So, uh, see, JC is aiming... Quite a difficult shot, actually. You've got to clear the bunker and uh, try and make sure your shot doesn't go outside of the map. But uh, CJC aims, he fires, and he takes out the Crusader SP. Uh, so pretty much a blind shot on an RT that didn't move for three minutes. So uh, hopefully that makes up for the suicide, CJC. And to wrap up today, I have got a snapshot I managed to catch from RT View. I am playing the AMX-13 uh, F3AM, and I'm platooned with Bringy, who's in his A43. We have dominated in this game. Bringy's had a really good game, but there's only one tank left on the enemy team, a Hellcat, and he has just been spotted in H9. So I'm in RT View. I've uh, switched. This Hellcat's retreating, and we've got a Cromwell moving in. So uh, Cromwell gets a nice shot in and drives straight past the Hellcat, does 163 damage to himself. Now the Cromwell is in trouble here. The Cromwell is in the water. The Cromwell is not actually able to fire his gun because he's in the water and the Hellcat's about to shoot him. So uh, as you can see, Bringy is cresting the hill. Boom! All caught with bird's eye view. Uh, pretty awesome, Bringy. So rather than uh, going into RT mode for this, I've gone into free cam. Cromwell's moving in on the Hellcat. Hellcat gets a nice shot in. It's slowed down. It's not normal speed, but the Hellcat... Oh, he hits the water. And, uh, yeah. Oh, he can actually shoot the Hellcat. But now the Cromwell's in water. The Cromwell's in trouble. And here comes Bringy. Awesome ram kill. Really, really, really awesome. I am so glad to have caught that in uh, RT mode. I uh, really, really wasn't expecting that end to the game. But uh, Bringy finished up with five kills. Really, really good game, Bringy, as per usual. Uh, so there we go. That is another episode of Snapshots over. I would like to thank you guys for watching. I know pretty much all the snapshots were from my point of view, but a lot happened this week. But as per usual, if you want to send me any snapshots, because I'm starting to get low on them, you'll notice that when I put more of my own snapshots in a video, it's because I'm running low on snapshots. Um... If you do want to feature in a snapshot video, if you've got a funny moment, a fail moment, a great shot, lucky shot, epic moment, anything at all, please feel free to head over to Twitch, right click my name, send me a private message with the uh, What Replays link, and I will happily include it in a snapshots episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.